All right, the day has finally come. I've just left, here we go, the New South Wales uh, service to get. Are you ready for it? The plates, they're finally here. Bam, WRX 98. And I wanna say thank you to all those who commented about uh, which plates I should get. I think the WRX 98, there we go, will look beautiful, uh, simple. I was actually surprised that these plates were even available uh, when I did the search, so uh, there you go. For those that don't know, it's a, it's a WRX, Subaru WRX, and it's a 1998 model, hence that's why it fits. So there you go, I'm gonna load up these plates and uh, get it on and take it out on the open road now, officially. Now, you're gonna ask me now, what is next? Now that the car's all, all ready to go on the road, I've got a couple of plans. Um, I think the first thing is to get the paint sorted out. The paint is, is pretty good. Um, but on the front of this bumper bar, see if I can show you, there's a couple of, I don't know if you can see that there, there's a couple of big sort of scratches in, in the bumper there. It's got some stone chips on the front, uh, which is going to be, uh, needed to be sorted out. So I think I'll get the whole bumper bar resprayed. I think that's what, what I'm leaning to do. There's also on the back here, you'll find it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, big scratch in there as well. So I want to get those um, tidied up. And then I think there's a, a couple of very, very minor uh, shopping cart dings. M very minor. You could barely notice them. But all in all, I think that's that's pretty much it. Once I get the, the paint work done, I'm then going to get it properly uh, buffed. And then I want to move on to the interior. I want to get the interior cleaned out just just with some um, proper cleaning on the seats. And that'll be good. Oh, the other thing I didn't tell you guys too was that, I'm just jumping in the car here. I dropped into Subaru yesterday and just check on some car parts and what was available. And I found out that Subaru are actually remaking some of the original GC8 parts. And one of them, for example, was the, the gear boot. And I'll just show you. Just on there, you can see there's a bit of wear around here and it turns out that you can actually buy this gear boot now for um, brand new from Subaru for 130 bucks, which I thought was pretty good because I have seen them on eBay for about $180. So there you go, go straight to Subaru and actually turns out to be a better price. The other thing I wanted to get done was get this uh, gear knob cleaned up. It's got a bit of wear on it. You'll note that this particular model had the red stitching this was actually a feature of the club spec and also you'll see too here in the nardi steering wheel you've got that red stitch in there as well that so that was the feature here and to, of course to match it in case you notice they put the red stitch uh in the seats all the way through to um the bottom here as well so there you go so i did chase up the gear knob uh then they, they're not making the gear knob in the red stitch they are making the gear knob in a black stitch so i, I don't want to get that one on keep it with the red stitch so if anyone out there has a really really top condition red stitched gear knob which came out i think on this car from 98 to 2000 uh, please let me know so that's it so i'll give you guys an update later as we go and um just happy to now get it on the road with WX98.